Welcome to Community Service Spotlight. I'm your host, Bud Kwok, and today we have a great show. It's Hope Unlimited Family Care Center. Unlimited hope. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Our guest today is Nicole Farley, Executive Director. Welcome. Thank you. It's yes. great to be here on the show with you today. This is really a great facility. and We're going to talk about it some more. Thank it's you. really large. And when you pull around the corner, it's kind of an offset right there. You say you're going to put some new signs or banners up, yes, maybe. Yes, we're excited about that. We want to make sure our community knows where we're at and how to get to us easily. Yeah, when you pull around the corner, you, you don't, well, there's a building there. And then when you get inside the building, it's all been renovated and really nice and painted. And you have about 15 or 20 uh, different rooms and offices. And wow, things. at least. Of course, um, we are two locations. We have here in the Paducah on 11th and Jefferson. Uh -huh. And then we're also in Metropolis. So all together, there are 16 um, on staff helping our communities. Do the employees go back and forth or just you? Or? A couple of us go back and forth. I do have a center director there in Metropolis, but our sonographer and myself, we do go back and forth as needed. Okay, and you get mileage on your car? We no? do. Oh, do you really? Uh, okay. Sometimes I don't turn it in, sometimes I do. It just depends. I do the same thing. <laughs> I hate to do that because it hurts I, your bottom That's line. right, yeah. that's exactly. You want to be successful. Uh, okay, what is the mission statement or the mission of uh, uh, Hope Unlimited. You know, our, our mission statement is pretty simple, and that is just to empower families and strengthen our community. We really want to be a part of helping moms and dads in this area, you know, the whole entire Paducah, Metropolis area, to just move from surviving, stop surviving, but really thrive. And when moms and dads are thriving, their kids are thriving, and our community becomes a stronger place. Where I work has a good relationship mm -hmm. with you. We'll talk about that later, maybe too, if they All let right. me. Uh, but one of the misconceptions that I know about is that some people think that it's only, mostly for low-income uh, individuals. That's not yeah, true, is it? That is not true. And not only just maybe low-income families, but moms and dads and anyone caring for children. So it could be you. It could be me. Um, anyone that just needs some support. It could yeah. be a brand new couple that um, pregnant for the first time need to learn how to care for their new baby. It could be someone that's just hit hard times and, and they do have a crisis and they need some help and everything in between. Yeah, and do you think, well, everybody knows how to take care of children. Mm. I've seen instances where they, mm. many people don't know how to well, do that. And, and I'm a great example of that. My youngest biologically is 10 and then now I find myself having a baby. And so I've got him from 22 months to 13 now. Well, 10 years is a big span. And I will tell you that the support I found made all the difference. Okay, so you can, you, everybody can, can, can uh, take advantage and you Absolutely. can too. Absolutely, that's right. Huh. Okay, yes. well, what are, what are the services that you do provide? We provide a lot of services here at Hope Unlimited, but today I would like to just really talk about three main services just to give a good um, understanding to the community of what, what we can offer. The first one is our free walk-in pregnancy test and courtesy ultrasound. And that is open to anyone. They can come and they just need a walk-in. If they need to have an ID, that's the only thing we require is an ID. And we, that doesn't have to have an appointment. If they are far enough long in their pregnancy, then we will offer them right then a courtesy ultrasound for them to see their baby. Oh my gosh. Yes. Just like that. And that is at either location, both here in Paducah. Then we have parenting classes, and that's for moms and dads, whether that is moms and dads separately or together, just however that looks. And that is not only um, court-ordered parenting classes, but parenting classes for anyone that just wants to learn more and be the best parent that they can be. And then the third thing I would like to talk about today is our prenatal clinic. Someone can come to Hope Unlimited from the time of pregnancy test through delivery. And so we don't deliver here on site. We use either Baptist or Lourdes, either one is mm -hmm. fine. Um, and that is here in Paducah. So that service is in Paducah only. Um, so we have a full 
um, prenatal clinic and I'm excited to be able to provide those services to our community. Right here on the location. Right you don't have to go location. to the hospital or anything like that. That's right. I know you've got your, some of your rooms, a lot of equipment in there and stuff. Yes. I, I, I didn't realize you had all that, even though I was here the other day. And we'll talk about that some more later. Right. But you said uh, uh, you have to have an ID. Yes, and please. Yes. Does it have, can't, doesn't have to be a driver's license. It does not. No, just a picture ID is fine. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You have a, a passport or birth certificate. Any of that? Well, it needs to have your it, picture. It needs to have it. a picture on it. Yes, yeah. and that's just because we also partner with other agencies in town. Okay. We want to. We have a great relationship with many of the other nonprofits, as well as our health department, as well as other um, OBGYNs in town, and so. That just helps us stay up um, with protocol and to give the best care that we can to our clients. So if they come in and they need this service, and oh, by the way, that's not what you guys do, you can steer them in the right direction Absolutely. somewhere else. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we will have situations where we can serve them in one area, but we don't want to duplicate services. And there are so many amazing nonprofits in Paducah and Metropolis area to serve oh my, Paducah yes. in Paducah. Hundreds. Oh, it's just amazing. <laughs> and. We want to make sure that we are excellent at what we do, and we know there's amazing other agencies that are excellent at what they do. So we want to refer. And then I picked up on a court. You yes. said uh, it doesn't have to be a court uh, approved service. Right. Do you, so we do you have court. Things? We do. We have both court ordered and court suggested classes. So that's where maybe um, a parent needs is been as you know they've been told they need to get more parenting classes. Um, maybe just whatever their circumstance is. So we provide that. So we work with all of the local um, court systems in the area and they can court suggest or we are um, one of the parenting classes that they can take that are that are accepted. The great thing about Hope Unlimited is our classes are free. Oh my God. So we're the only Don't parenting class <laughs> in town that is free and confidential, of course, like any other but um, so all of our services, for that matter, bud, are free and confidential. Confidential is the best. Yes, sir. People don't want to do something if their neighbors are going to find out That's they're doing right. something. And we okay. understand that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, before we go any further, we're going to give you, the audience, your contact information, okay. uh, maybe some telephone number, whatever you want to give. Sure. We're going to flash it on the screen, but go ahead. Okay. So just as a reminder, we're both in Paducah and Metropolis. The main number is 270-442. 1166, and that can get you to either location. 1166. That's I can right. remember that already. There you go. Great. <laughs> and here in Paducah, we are on Jefferson and 11th, and in Metropolis, we are right off of 5th and Lincoln. Okay. And for, for viewers out there that didn't have a pencil and paper and you think you might be interested, we're going to go through that one more time right at the end of the show. So stick around. Uh, we're just getting started, but we'll give that to you at the end. Get your pencil and paper ready. Okay. How did you get involved mm -hmm. with this? Did you grow up and say, when you went to school, mm -hmm. say, I'm going to be Hope Unlimited uh, executive director, or did, how, did, how did it happen? That's a great question. It's a very unique answer. Um, several years ago, I um, was a business owner in Missouri uh -huh. and had the privilege of funding the first walk for life at a local pregnancy care center. And through that relationship that began being built, um, I became a board member of wow. that center. It was about six months old at the time. It's one of the largest centers in the United States now. And um, just really just barely got to know what was going on, and but just enjoyed that. And that was that. And all these years later, um, I was looking to get into nonprofit. Um, I had been in business for myself for 15 years and was ready for a change. Our family was growing and changing and um, started seeking out nonprofit. And my parents actually were on, at different times on the board here. My mom has been part of Hope Unlimited oh, for years. Resident family. And it does. And um, really never planned to be the executive director. Um, that wasn't really what I was looking for, but um, I believe God had other plans. And here I am today. Um, love being a part of something that gives back to our community but also is um, helping families. I'm a family person. Um, I love family. My family is so important to me. I was raised in a tight-knit family. My dad always said, love God and love others. And he yeah. lived his life that way. So I grew up in a home. That's what we did. And so um, here I am um, at, at a stage in my life being able to give back in a way I never thought I could. So, Okay, so that brings up another question. Uh, are you, is this... Uh, 
only local to Paducah and Metropolis, or do you, is it national or? Hope Unlimited Family Care Center is local, but we are part of a national picture. So we personally are affiliated with Heartbeat International and CareNet. Both of those are pregnancy care center affiliations um, and family care center affiliations. So we have brought into the family care center, meaning that we have decided rather than just focusing on pregnancy, we are doing pregnancy all the way through birth and thereafter helping families. And these two national organizations are who we chose to be affiliated with to help support us, to get good training, to grow with the time. So it is part of a bigger picture, but we are all independently our own 501c3. Oh, okay. You, so you don't have a, a, a national headquarters somewhere we or anything do not. like that? No. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. You can make your own decisions without well, having to go. Well, we do, along with our board, of course. We are board ran, so thankful for our board and the um, just the time they give to us and, and just the support. They're amazing. So, so you have have a board. How, can you tell me how many? You, you... We'd like to have it between about 9 and 11. We're about at the 9 right now, so happen to be looking for a couple of amazing board members. So... Um, would love to hear from anyone that uh, is interested in our well, mission. Well, we can talk after the show. All okay. right. Okay. Okay. And how are you? How are you funded? Are do you get a big, huge check from the government every month, or uh, what? We actually choose not to set to have any federal funding. We are privately funded. Um, so individuals like yourself, churches, they're an amazing part of our funding. We. I also do grant writing. So I'm so grateful for. Um, the organizations, foundations, the different grants that we receive, we could not do it without our grants. Um, and so because we, um, we choose not to be mandated by the federal laws, we do not have any federal funding. So um, it's just by the, the, the love gifts of individuals and, and those that are believe in our mission and so thankful and, and so important that we steward that money very carefully because we want to be able to reach as many moms and dads as we can. And so we're very careful with that funding, but mainly um, individuals. And hopefully, it, it, uh, will they do work it forward? The, maybe the mm -hmm. people that you help out someday might be in a position where they can help you some too? Absolutely. You know, we have had the privilege of seeing that a, f a handful of times. And that's probably one of the most rewarding things as an organization. When you have walked a, a, a client through a, a time in their life that might have been hard, might have been a journey that they weren't expecting, and then five years down the road they walk in and they hand you a check. That's the best. Or they come to your gala and they fill a table with friends that they want to know, they want to share mm -hmm. our mission with. Or maybe their church begins to support us because of that person. Um, wow, talk about paying it forward. It is, um, it's amazing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you do any fundraisers along those lines? That we have a couple of fundraisers. We have three traditional fundraisers that we do, and then we have amazing um, other organizations or businesses that along the way might give us um, uh, a fundraiser here or there, that type of thing. Um, love working with the Knights. They are always so good to help us, and that's a great way to Knights help Columbus? us. That's right. That's right. I, I was one of those. One Were time. you one of those? Yes. yes. Um, so our three <laughs> signature fundraisers, and one is going on it right now is baby bottle campaign. And so that's where you can simply just collect your change or we'll take cash and checks as well. Yeah. But just to give you how easy this is, we've we've given a goal to the bottle, $30, $30 per bottle. And we traditionally like to put out 25 to 3,000 bottles a year with between Mother's Day and Father's Day, staying within that family uh -huh. theme. Well, if we have 3,000 bottles at $30, but that's a Easy That's way. Bunch. That's a bunch of money. A <laughs> um, bunch of coins. A bunch of coins. And I tell you, we are blessed. And again, Independence Bank, another community partner with us, they count that money for us. What a blessing. Um, our next fundraiser and our largest is our annual gala. It's in September every year, September 18th for yeah. this year. And um, that's at the convention center. That's a way for our donors to come and, and hear what's new, what we're doing, what, what their money is doing, the families they're helping, the moms, the dads, the lives that they're potentially saving in that way. That's our biggest fundraiser. 
And then our you say gala. What, yes. What, is it, uh, and it's at the convention center. So when yes. you do it at a convention center, that's got to be pretty. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's it's a, st a little fancy. Big. It's big, between 450 and 600 guests. Oh, my cow. And yeah. <laughs> um, so we are excited about that. It's a fun event. Um, sometimes it's formal, sometimes it's not. It just kind of depends. We're in our 29th year. So next year, we'll have our big 3 0. Year. That's right. I'm excited about that. So it's a great night. We try to keep it um, short and sweet and to the point. We don't, um, we don't keep you there a long time, but we want to make sure that our donors um, that are existing can bring friends that maybe they want to introduce to Hope Unlimited. Um, that's really where we can communicate to those that really are backing our mission. Okay, and those you send out letters to those donors about when it is and we do each year. Save a date, card goes out, we're calling them, we're inviting them, putting it on our Facebook page, our website, that type of thing. Okay, and then you started, uh, I, before I interrupted you, no, you were that's starting okay. in uh, third And then at the end of the year, you know, that's a time that people are looking to um, give just to um, really make sure that uh, I, we find that people want one more time. And so I, um, at at the end of the year, I usually pick the theme for the next year, have a story, let them know what's been going on, but really what's the next year hold mm -hmm. for them. And so that's our end of the year letter that we really just are asking, is there one more time that you could see as a donor that you could give to the mission? So those okay. are our three. I'll bet you've got all kind of neat stories to tell. Do you mm -hmm. have one you'd like to tell us today? I tell you, there are so many stories. I feel like I could spend the next two hours telling you, but let me let me just share one with you that just is so special to my heart. Okay. I We see so many amazing parents at Hope Unlimited, but one stands out to me. A particular mom came to us with her first pregnancy about five years ago, and at that time, first time mom, her and her husband, first time parents, and began in our clinic, in our prenatal clinic. Uh -huh. And um, along the way decided to start our parenting classes, just to learn and become a good mom. Well, she's now had her third pregnancy with us. We are so excited. And she's finished with her parenting classes and has made a decision to start volunteering. Oh, oh. It's just amazing. Just Pay to it forward, yeah. Oh, I tell you, she has put so much work into being a great mom and her husband, a great dad. Her, their three children, I tell you, I, I'm so proud of them as parents. And I just look at these three children and say, wow, they are going to have a good home, a good, solid, steady home life because their parents took the time and we had the privilege as Hope Unlimited to pour into their life for the last five years. So probably one of my favorite stories of just great success, but also how our community is changing for the better. And so many get off on the wrong foot and then mm -hmm. it's hard to get back on the right foot, but you help them get off on the right foot to begin uh -huh. with. And you know what, story. if they get off on the wrong foot, that's why we're here too, because we're gonna come alongside of them. We wanna, we wanna walk this life's journey and we really mean it. And um, there's times that we'll have a, a client that comes, mom that comes in and we see them for a while and then we might not see them. And then there they are again, they'll come and they'll say, guess what, I'm pregnant again. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a few years, but they had such an amazing experience of feeling support and I hope that's always the case with us. That is our goal, to make sure that parents are moving from just feeling survival to really being empowered to be the best mom and dad they can well, be. Well, thank you for that great story. Thank you. Okay, well, how does a person begin receiving services? I, I, do I just walk in, call? Both ways, really. Again, the pregnancy test, you can just walk in. Um, but now, if you're ready to start parenting classes, Maybe you um, have heard about us and you're like, I am, um, I, my, we're pregnant, we want to learn more, or maybe you're thinking about starting a family or whatever that looks like. You can call us, set up an appointment, we'll do an intake and get you started. We typically see our clients every other week, one hour, um, week, every other week. But if there's a client that for a while they'd like to see us a mentor weekly, then we can do that as well. Sometimes we'll have a married couple that wants to do a marriage course. We have a six weeks marriage course. Again, six weeks. Family, family focused. So yeah, yeah. I, I heard a really good one the other day on the speaker at the Carson Center, and he his friend came to him, and he was in that position. He could help him. He said, "I have marital problems," and then the guy said, well, "Of course you do. I know. I know all about your marital problems." He said, well, "How do you know about my marital problems?" He said, "You're married." Exactly. If you're married, you're going to have some marital problems. It's the it's the way it is, and that's the same with parenting. 
we can think, man, that's the best parent I've ever met. But you spend a moment in their home and they're going to tell you, I could always use good advice. So, <laughs> And it's not expensive. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> Free and confidential. <laughs> Free. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. And so you said how many people did you say you had on staff in the two places? Between the two locations, we have 16 on staff, but... But I can't forget our volunteers. We operate with 45 plus volunteers between You're so the two. Lucky. Lo- volunteers we are, are hard to come oh, by sometimes. I'm telling you, it's it is hard. But when you get a good one, take care of them. Oh yeah, they are amazing, and we really could not do what we do. We would have to scale back so significantly if it was not for our volunteers. Um, so yes, volunteers. So you have volunteers here today in this this Absolutely building. Absolutely, we do. Oh, yes, okay. sir. And if I want to volunteer, how do I do that? Two simple options. You can go on our website and send us an a inquiry, and, and it'll, there's a volunteer tab, and you can just send it straight through our website or give us a call, stop by, and uh, we can immediately talk with you, get you, get you started and, and ready to go. Yeah, and there's lots of ways to volunteer. So okay. if you think, well, I can only trim bushes, well, that's not an only <laughs> for me. That's an inside joke. Uh huh. Uh, that's important because I can't do that. Um, maybe you would like to meet one on one with clients, um, or maybe you you can help us secretarially or um, helping with one of our funders. There's just so many ways. And um, we have student groups that come. We have adults that come. We have businesses that come. Project United always sends us a crew. We couldn't do it without them. So lots of opportunities for volunteering. Now, I won't mention where I work, because nobody knows where I work, but, but we have a good relationship oh, with yes. you. And we've, we've, we come from time to time and help, especially Absolutely. between the seasons, taking the old cl- older clothes off and new clothes in. That's right. And uh, like I said, trimming the bushes, we've That's done right. some of that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, is there a waiting list that, you know, you said you could, call, you could just walk in off the street, so mm-hmm. that doesn't sound like a waiting list. Right. There's not a waiting uh, list for the pregnancy test or courtesy ultrasound, no. Sometimes um, we will have, we book out, um, so if we have a regular client, they're going to book their next appointment when they're here for their current appointment. So typically not a waiting list. Um, Occasionally we will. But that's why volunteers are so important. If my staff is full, we're looking for volunteers to help eliminate that waiting list. If we have a crisis situation, we're going to make it happen. Okay. Okay. You have a number of services, yes. and we can't talk about them all today. <laughs> but you did want to talk about those three. Mm-hmm. Would you like to go over those three again? Right. Uh, so I've talked quite a bit about the walk-in pregnancy test. Pretty simple. It's just what uh, it is. And the courtesy ultrasound. And it's free. Free. And again, with the courtesy ultrasound, there's a couple of guidelines on that. But most people are able to have that. And so it's an amazing way for you to have a first look at your baby. So that's a wonderful thing. And we are so thankful. That's a very important Um, One of our most important things that we can offer to our community. And you have people here that can take care of that. that Absolutely. On On staff at all times. Here at all times. Oh, my gosh. That's right. Yeah. We have a full medical team, 9 a.m. to 4, Monday through Thursday. You said full medical team. Oh, my gosh. That sounds impressive. Well, we are blessed to partner with um, OBGYNs and and other organizations. But uh, on staff, I have a full-time sonographer and a full-time RN. And then, so then our parenting classes. In our parenting classes, both again for moms or dads, we want to make sure you know that that this is for both moms and dads. We have men mentors and women mentors, and that is anything from parenting to life skills. So maybe um, we've got a new family, first-time parents, or maybe they're having their third child. It doesn't matter. They if they just want to get, they want to learn skills better. Maybe they have teenagers and they're wondering, what do I do? I have a teenager and I'm thinking, how can I communicate with them? So we... A big we, one. That's, that's big right. One. That's right. <laughs> but then, okay, so let's say also we have a parent that's wanting to get a job and maybe they need some skills to brush up on resume writing, interview skills, things like that. You do like all that. that? Yes. Maybe it's a stay-at-home mom that wants to better take care of her family and so she wants to learn how to coupon. Just typical life skills. Yeah. So our parenting classes have, oh my goodness, probably, I don't even know how many hundreds of different types of classes, including Bible study. Maybe they want to learn more about the Bible. It's not required, but if it's something they want to do, that's something they can learn about. 
Um, and then our prenatal clinic. I would like to talk about that. Sure. Our prenatal clinic um, is a full service. Um, we are just like any other doctor's office or clinic. And um, right now we have a doctor on Thursdays is our clinic day working to get a second doctor. So excited about that, but can't talk too much about that yet, but hoping to get a second doctor in so that we can have two days of clinic. So you have two doctors that We hope so. We volunteer. hope that's coming. Volunteer. Fully. Volunteer. Yes. Is that free? It, it is free to the client. That is correct. Okay. Yes. Now, our RN and our ultrasound tech are staff that we have. They're our staff. And so they are seeing clients potentially anytime Monday through Thursday because they're doing um, potentially like health histories and ultrasounds, all different types of things, just like you would at your own doctor. Oh my gosh, Pregnancy RN. Tests. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm, we're glad being we're getting, able... I'm glad we're getting the word out because I That's didn't right. know, even though I'm, I come here a lot and help out and do some things with That's my, right. where I work, uh, where our association with you, and I, I do it anyway, but that's how I got connected. That's how you got connected with us, but that's right. I didn't realize you had the staff you've got. Yes. Uh, well, I didn't realize how nice the building was. Of course, mm -hmm. you just remodeled it, and it really looks nice, but I didn't realize the staff you had, RN. Yes. Yeah. And so I interrupted you, I'm sorry. That, no, that's okay. You know, we, like I said a little bit earlier, we partner with other agencies, the health department. Such an important partnership, um, you know, to really be able to help someone that's not able to, maybe they don't have insurance yet, maybe um, they are coming through Paducah and this is a stopping place for a season. We wanna be able to help them. Um, and so we're getting those referrals. Or maybe um, a client needs a little extra time um, with the doctor or with a nurse to ask more questions, maybe to get encouragement, maybe to um, just be encouraged and supported. Maybe it's a client that doesn't have any family here. We have the privilege to take a little extra time and so we love, um, we have great relationship with other doctors that, that want to help, um, but maybe um, they, they know that they can get more services here. So when they become a, a client in the prenatal clinic, then they can take parenting classes for free. And then dad can maybe get some job skills. And then, you know, it's a, that snowball effect that's going to help that family become stronger. Therefore, our community is going to be stronger. And the average person on the street has no idea how to fill out a resume. But that, that really rang well with me. Yes. You can go online and Google all that, but uh, I wouldn't trust that stuff. You yeah. know, you need... Helps to have someone on your side. Be your cheerleader and, and, and really um, encourage you along the way. And even um, help you look for the right job. And people that don't have insurance mm -hmm. or have limited insurance, there's a lot of those out there. Mm -hmm. Even with Obamacare and all that, there's right. still a lot of people out there that, that don't have any of that stuff. So this really is helpful. Well, and we can help them. So let's say they're eligible and they didn't know they were eligible. We can help walk them through that journey yeah. and help them know how to get the best care for their family. Well, let's get your contact information back out there again. Okay. And we'll, of course, we'll show it on the screen, but it's, that's right. Paducah and Metropolis. That's right. Paducah, we're on 11th and Jefferson. Metropolis on 5th and Lincoln. So both locations. Both locations are open Monday through Thursday from 9 until 4. And pregnancy tests are just walk-in. And um, But then if you want to have a parenting class or, or come for any of our other services, you can call. You can stop by. We can set an appointment up for you. Well, I want to thank you for coming in today, thank you. Uh, and I want to thank all of our viewers for tuning in. Of course, that's just Absolutely. as important. Uh, this is Community Service Spotlight. I'm your host, Bud Kwok. Until next time, thanks for showing up. <laughs>